In the second phase of week 3, we are going to discuss about intrusion detection system. After assessing the vulnerability of the computer systems, devices and networks, the first step is to deploy an intrusion detection system in an organization. Most of the intrusions happen from the outside network. So every organization must deploy an intrusion detection system to safeguard their networks, databases, computing systems and other devices. An intrusion detection system monitors the network traffic for suspicious activities and issues alerts if any such activity is discovered. This is known as anomaly. Anomaly detection and reporting are the main functions of IDS. However, some intrusion detection systems are capable of taking actions when malicious activities are detected like blocking the traffic sent from suspicious IP addresses. IDS should be placed in the gateway at the entry point of the internet. You can see the placement of an IDS in the figure. Through IDS, one can monitor the network for malicious activities and sometimes it is prone to false alarms are false positives. We will see this later. Therefore, IDS have to be configured properly. IDS basically do two jobs, namely forensic analysis and alert generation. This is done or administered when there is a malicious traffic. Let us see the important components of intrusion detection system. An IDS comprises management console and sensors. Management console is the management and reporting console. Sensors are agents that monitor the hosts or networks on a real-time basis. IDS also have a database for attack signatures. The attack signatures are nothing but patterns of different types of previously detected attacks. If the sensors detect any malicious activity and if it matches with the entity in the attack signature database, then the sensor reports to the management console. Sensors can also be configured for different types of responses. For example, the sensor can reset a TCP connection by sending a TCP fin command. It can modify the access control list on the gateway or the router or on the firewall. They can also send an email notification to the administrator for appropriate actions can see the components of the ideas in the figure. The components are detection engine, decision engine, detection models and decision table. Next we will see the different types of ideas. Ideas can be basically classified into three types based on its level of operation as Network IDS, Network Node IDS and Host IDS. NIDS, in other words, Network IDS examines the traffic and compares it with the attack library. NIDS is positioned at a strategic point or points within the network or the subnet where it can scan the inbound and the outbound traffic 
from all the devices on the network. We can see this with the help of a sample in ideas shown in the figure. Then the node based one that is NN ideas. This is very similar to N ideas but the difference is that the traffic is only monitored on a single host but not on the whole subnet. Here comes a figure that can illustrate the NN ideas. The third category that is the host ideas, HIDS. It takes an image of the whole systems file, sets and compares it with the preceding picture. If there are any major differences such as missing files, then it sends an alert to the administrator. HIDS runs on all machines and devices in the network with direct access to both the internet and the internal network. HIDS has got an advantage that it can detect affected network packets that originate from the inside malicious traffic or the malware that is attempting to spread within the network that an IDS has failed to detect. Here comes the picture that shows the host based intrusion detection system architecture. If you look at the subtle differences between NIDS and HIDS, it's clearly indicated in the figure. There is an intrusion detection working group known as IDWG. This has defined a universal IDS architecture with four types of functional modules. They are event boxes or E blocks. Database boxes or D blocks, analysis boxes or A blocks, response boxes or R blocks. We'll see what an event box is about. The E block consists of sensor elements that track the target system that acquires events to be analyzed by other blocks. The database boxes are nothing but elements planned to store the information from the E blocks for subsequent processing by A or R boxes. The third one, analysis boxes. The A block process modules for analyzing the events and detecting potential hostile behavior to generate some kind of notification if necessary. The last one is response boxes or R blocks. The main function of R block is execution. If any intrusion occurs, it responses to threat the detected threat. Here is a figure that demonstrates the common intrusion detection framework followed by the working group. Intrusion detection system can be classified further based on the approach, behavior and structure and how the system is protected and intrusions are detected.